Hello people of the interweb, my name is David. I'm the owner of uh, Top Building and Remodeling based out of Maryville, Tennessee. Uh, if I'll turn the uh, camera around, this is my trusty assistant, uh, Brown. Hey Brown. Hello. Hey buddy. And uh, we are starting a new channel called Top and Tips of the, uh, Top and Tips and Tricks of the Trade, 4T. And it's kind of a thing we thought, we thought since we're such good looking guys, we're doing stuff that uh, a lot of homeowners can do. People would like to see us on YouTube, uh, show them how to make stuff cool. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come out with videos on uh, just stuff that homeowners do around the house. Uh, we're going to show you how we do it. We feel like uh, we do a pretty good job at it. And the uh, main thing we like to do is, uh, we like to, we, from A to Z, we like to put a lot of effort in. And uh, that way you get a good result. So. Uh, First, uh, the first video is on painting. All homeowners paint. All homeowners can paint pretty good, and we're going to show you how to paint better. All right, so now we're about ready to get started putting uh, actual wall paint on the walls. So, uh, if there's any places that you need uh, that need patched, uh, you want to do that first. You better already have that done. Uh, and if you do patch anything, make sure you prime it. Uh, we've uh, primed all the spots that we use any drywall mud on or spackle. Uh, if you don't do that, you're probably going to see it uh, whenever you roll over top, when you re-roll over top of it because it'll actually flash through. So if you prime it, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, second thing is uh, we like to use good paint. Uh, we've, I've used a bunch of different kinds of paint. Um, I like to use Sherwin Williams. I used to use Home Depot brand, and then I used this shirt, Sherwin Williams Duration. Actually, my wife uh, got me uh, on it because she was painting something at the house and was talking about how good she was cutting in, and then I picked up the, uh, I was like, how in the world is she cutting in kit? She was actually a sucky painter. This made her a lot better painter, so product is a big thing. Good products. We, I mean, we'll spend money, but we, we, like I said, you're gonna get a good result if you spend money, put in effort. So, we like the Sheridan Williams, I like the Duration or the Emerald Series for um, uh, wall paint. Uh, I usually use flat unless I'm doing a bathroom. If I'm doing a bathroom, I'm gonna use eggshell or satin. The reason I use flat, not in a bathroom, is it touches up really easy. Uh, that way you don't see it. If you're using something with a sheen, usually if you try to touch up one little spot, you're gonna have to paint the whole wall. So you're gonna have to go through all the steps again versus the flat uh, where you can just touch up a spot. In the bathrooms, you don't you want the sheen that because of moisture. Um, also, good brush. This is a purdy, it's, it's called a semi-oval brush. It's a two and a half inch brush. Um, it is really awesome. It, you can see how you can see how big it is right there. But this thing holds a lot of paint. I think it's about a twenty to thirty dollar paintbrush, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. It will make if you use the good paint, you use a good paintbrush when you're cutting in the ceiling, which we never we never tape that. You really can't. Uh, you're gonna feel like a pro. Um, another thing is uh, the rollers. I like to use the double the, the, the double sided roller. This is either for a uh, 14 inch nap or an 18 inch nap. You can't use your standard nine on this. I've actually used made my own for a nine because you can't really find them to buy. Um, but this keeps constant pressure on both sides of your nap. Um, that way you don't have little streaks down if you're just using one of your L L framed normal. Uh, roller frames and before you put your roller on your frame we've already done it for this one so we're probably not going to get probably not going to get any hairs off of it this is a microfiber nap I think it's a 9 16 so uh, using a 9 16 to get a little bit of texture on the wall because these walls were not in the best shape so the heavier the nap a little bit more texture you're going to get and It'll hide little imperfections instead the in the drywall, which is also another thing with the flat paint. If you use flat paint, the imperfections don't show up. 
like they do on a uh, eggshell, satin, or semi box. It, they, it usually shows pretty good on those. So what we're gonna do is, this probably won't have much, but because it's the microfiber, the microfibers usually don't pull off much, but what we're gonna do is you just tape it, and then you unroll it. And what that's gonna do is, that's gonna pull out any little hairs or cloth that's loose and it's not gonna end up in your paint. So you won't be fighting that the whole time that you're rolling the walls. Which is always annoying and you gotta go back and get paint all over you. So just a little trick right there to, to help you out. The next thing is, we also like to use this lid right here. The reason we like to use these lids, well, it's easy. You can get these anywhere, uh, use these paint stores, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. And we like these these cut buckets, or Wooster cut, bu cut bucket, and they hold in your hand really good. So we like these because <coughs> uh, it pours the paint good. You don't have to worry about getting it on the edges. And plus, if you get it on the edge, on the inside of that metal rim, you're... Uh, your gallon, uh, your gallon of paint is actually going to rust. So that if you have need to touch it up in about one to two years, you open that up, you're going to have rust all around the inside of your lid because there was because of the paint when you put the uh, the top back on. Okay, first step is you're going to go around, take all your cover plates off. Uh, you don't want to try to paint around cover plates. Just that, because they'll stick and you have to tape them anyway if you're gonna do that. Second thing is put down drop cloths. Um, cover up your floor. If you don't cover up your floor, you're gonna get paint on it, I promise. You're gonna have drippage. So cover up your floor, that way you don't have more work than you want. Third thing, and this is, this is a biggie. This is how you're gonna get really, really good results is we like to tape everything. I know there's a lot of painters like, oh, I don't need to tape. I can paint a, uh, I can paint a straight line. Well, guess what? You cannot paint a as straight of a line as this tape is right here. The only person on the planet Earth could ever paint that straight of a line would be Jesus Christ Himself. And Jesus Christ is not coming here and painting this for you. So use tape. Use tape. Spend the money. Use tape. Use good tape. We use. We like to use frog tape. We like the frog tape better than the 3M. We found that the frog tape does not seem to pull off as much uh, paint when you pull it. So the next thing we're going to do is, like we've, a lot of times at your house, you're not going to paint your trim when you're painting a room. Uh, but we usually, we always paint trim first. So you want to paint the trim, but the day before at least, you want 24 hours to dry for your trim if you're painting it. But if, you, if you're not painting your trim, you've taped, you can get some white paint, uh, primer, trim paint, probably primer be best. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take a little bit, just a little bit on this brush, and we're just gonna go down right here. We're just gonna seal this paint, this tape, because if we get any leakage, we want it to be white paint. We don't want it to be our wall paint. So when this leaks through, and this is gonna seal our tape, if it leaks through, it is going to be white and it's not going to be your wall color. So you don't have to use a whole lot. You just get the tip of the brush wet and just barely do it in this corner. because That way it dries quick and you can go on to the next step, which will be cutting in and rolling. Um, but this is, it takes a little bit of time, but like I said, it's all that effort. If you have good effort, you're gonna get good results. Okay, so now we're doing a uh, flat paint, so it doesn't, does not matter as much as far as uh, cutting in, rolling, how you do it on the first coat. Uh, it doesn't, on the second coat, you really wanna, you wanna cut in. You, it's nice to have two people doing it because if somebody, if you're cutting in somebody rolling, because they come right behind you and, they, and they'll go up into your cut in as much as they can. So. Usually you want about the size of your brush, that's what you want your cut in. And you want it to be nice and thick, and but you want them to be able to roll over top of it. 
You don't want them to have to get too close. That's why you want to keep a pretty good size cut in. So whenever I get my paint out, see I have it on the brush right there. I actually got a little bit high on the brush, but you don't want to cake it in your brush. You don't want it all up, all the way up to this metal. Um, it's, it's, it, it, because your, your brush is not going to flex as good. So the next thing is we got it right there. Like I said, this, this brush right here, it pulls a great line. And we usually like to go left to right, just like you're reading. And so you kind of get the, most of the paint on. And I like to kind of, just kind of wiggle the brush a little bit, get it down, and then I'm gonna pull that bead just right up underneath there, right up underneath that trim. And then it wasn't totally, the brush is not as wet as I need it right there, but I'm gonna try to, of course, we're gonna do two coats, but first coat, you wanna get it pretty good. It, it always takes two coats. There are some paints that, that like to say that uh, it's a one coat paint. No, bull crap. There ain't no one coat paint. Even if they say they put paint, paint and primer in one, well, it doesn't really freaking matter. You gotta prime, like you can't skip steps. That's why I, was, I say we already primed that stuff. And we're still gonna put two coats over top of it. So don't, all these products that they will try to sell to you and that make you think it's a shortcut. No, shortcuts, uh, they don't work. Shortcuts, uh, shortcuts okay, are for so lazy people. We've cut in, we've cut this whole wall in, baseboard, uh, door, uh, door casing, and up at the, uh, up and up at the uh, crown mold. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roll. So. Like I said, this is an 18 inch nap. Um, 18 inch naps, awesome on ceilings, and if you got big walls. Most of the time, if you're a homeowner, you're gonna be using nine inch nap, which is about like that right there, okay? But the 18 inch is awesome on these big areas because you get it done quicker, and like I said, uh, you wanna get it done quicker because painting sucks. I don't like painting, but we're showing you how to paint really good. So, when you're rolling, I've seen a ton of people do it, and I have people come to work for me, and I see them start, they, everybody thinks, oh, I can roll paint. No, you don't. They start doing this right here. No, don't do that. All that's gonna do is, it's gonna splatter paint everywhere, and you're not gonna put it on the wall very good. So, here's what we're gonna do. You gotta get this thing, you gotta get this nap loaded up really good. You wanna get paint, plenty of paint in it. Uh, Usually the first time you load it up is it, 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 it you're not gonna get as far as you want. But as you see, I'm getting most I get it loaded up very good. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna make a V pattern. And on this V pattern, I'm gonna start up at my top. I'm gonna go down. And I'm gonna come back up like this right here. Okay? I'm not really gonna roll much more than that this first time especially with this first uh and then we already got crap in the paint no that's a hole dad don't it brown you missed a hole <laughs> so you're going to come and so most of your paint that you started with is going to be at this end so usually what happens is you you, you get it all done because the most of the paint's right there and like you see how i'm doing i'm making i'm not making i'm making slow long I would make a joke, but I'm not going to. This is family friendly. <laughs> so, as you see, I went about three and a half feet, three and a half, four feet. So, on this second time, it should this, this should load up a lot better. And, and, you should, and without that uh, light switch in the way, I can show you better. And so, like I said, I'm going to start up at that top corner. We're going to come down. All the way down, and then we're gonna go straight up. And then basically, you're gonna go back down, and you're just gonna start rolling straight down and over to where you started. And like I said earlier, I like using these frames 
because they keep constant pressure. You don't see a bunch of lines with paint streaks everywhere. You got constant pressure. All right, now here we go. We're starting on our second coat, rolling in. We've already cut it in. So again, we're going to uh, do our V pattern and go up. And you can tell this is starting to cover a lot better this time. And another thing is what we do is even get in. Even any little place you can get that roller, do it. You get that texture on it. And, uh, hey, Brian, question. Um, this is our, uh, take player first video. Um, how does my beard look today? It looks wonderful. Yeah, I feel like I was having a pretty you, good You look, you look great today. today. I feel like the camera locks me. The camera makes your beard look better. Yeah, that's the only thing. It makes me look a little bit fatter. The video all okay, I ain't good. The videographer's doing really well today, though, too. Videographer's, yeah. He's just not. He, the camera's just gonna make him look as good as it does me. <laughs> he's still a good looking guy. But, uh, yeah, you can tell how much better the second coat is starts to cover. And, uh, well, I guess also while we're doing this, a uh, couple of things that you might be wondering why I'm painting is wait a second, David. If you're a painter, why aren't you wearing all white? And why don't you have a cigarette in your mouth? <laughs> well, for one thing, uh, painting, I mean, uh, uh, smoking's stupid. And another thing, I do not know why painters wear white. I really don't. They all wear white, and it shows every bit of paint that they have on them. And it really makes no sense to me. But, also, I don't know, uh, they all want to smoke cigarettes and take a lot of smoke breaks, for the most part. That's just stereotyping. That might be a bad thing. They're not all smokers. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, professional painters, if I offended you. All right, last step right here. We're going to pull our tape. Now, if you, when you pull your tape, if you put, when you put your tape down, start on the left. And then go left or right, just like you were, just like when you're uh, uh, cutting in. Yes, if you're left-handed or dyslexic, you're gonna go right to left. Um, but anyway, start right here. You pull down, and it's, it's, you got one. The, the piece you're pulling is up underneath the other piece, so it's just gonna keep on coming. So I'm pulling right here. I mean, dude, these are some nice paint lines. I mean, they're really, 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 really sharp paint lines. Dang on it, Brown. You're pretty good at this, buddy. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Look at those paint lines. There might be a little bit of touch up. It doesn't look like much right there. If you do have to touch up, uh, we just recommend a little artist paintbrush just to, to barely hit a spot. But, I mean, that is some really nice paint lines. It'll make your mama happy. So, hey, one last thing I'm going to show you, and it'll follow me right over here, Brown. And this is the wall we've already painted. We remodeled this kitchen. Check out the, right, check out the kitchen. This might be my brother's kitchen. Really nice kitchen. But anyway. See the, uh, see the screws on this uh, cover plate? When you put your cover plates back on, make sure these screws are straight up and down. That's another thing I hate when I go to somebody's house and... It's like, they're just like crazy everywhere. I mean, that's just, this, this is just another little thing that will make your end result look better. Uh, so, hey, that's it. Uh, it's our first video, episode one. It might suck a little bit, I don't know. But we tried, it's our first. I promise you we're gonna get better from this video. So if you liked the video, if you thought it was very uh, informational and informative, informative and entertaining uh like our video subscribe to the channel and that what you're supposed to say brown i think okay. so yeah okay that's what you're supposed to do and we're gonna come out with more videos uh so until next time uh, uh yeah that's it i don't know what to say <laughs>